This here is Watch X. It is a smartwatch that you could build and code and plenty of sensors and projects to make with it. This project was founded on Indiegogo, with more than 200% funded from the backers. There are already more than 2000 people who already ordered their Watch X and they are making cool projects with it. Actually, I followed their Instagram page for a long time now and I can say they were an inspiration for me for my own smartwatch based on Arduino. This project is amazing for learning and making projects. The PCB is very small and well designed and it has all sorts of sensors and actuators, from push buttons and buzzers to Bluetooth connection and gyroscope. But the best thing is it's compatible with the Arduino and could be programmed in the mBlock extension where the code is translated from graphic blocks so kids will learn even faster. So in this video I'll show you this product, talk about what we have on the PCB, all the sensors, all the actuators, show you a few examples with it and tell you why this is a very good way to learn coding and start creating your own project. So guys, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. Here I have the Watch X kit that I've just received. So let me show you what you get inside of this kit, what other accessories you could get with this tiny PCB, what hardware we have on the board and then I will show you how to use it and a few examples in Arduino because have in mind that this board is like having an Arduino with a built-in Bluetooth, a buzzer, buttons, display and much more so it's easy to program and already has all that you need for learning. The kit is well packed in a cardboard box and on the back you can see the main specification of the product. Ok, so you receive this kit with the main board that has all the sensors, the actuators and the microcontroller. So let's say that this is the brain of the watch. But on side of that you also receive a compatible OLED display, a small LiPo battery with compatible connector, a USB cable for charging and uploading the codes, a watch belt which in this case is orange, and then you also get some double side tape to fix in place the OLED screen and the battery. Together with the parts you get a quick start guide where you can see how to assemble all the parts so let's just do that. So first we add the double side tape and we have a mark on the PCB for the position. Then you slide the OLED display through the belt hole and then push the strip connector inside of the latch. And now push the plastic part downwards so the strip cable will stick in place. Now remove the top protection from the double side tape and glue the screen. On the other side I connect the battery. It has its own connector. Now add the other double side tape on top of the microcontroller. And then glue the battery in place. We add the watch belt and that's it. The watch is ready. When you first receive it, it will have the watch X firmware on it. So I could use this as a digital watch that has an alarm, an OLED display and a buzzer and you can control it with the push buttons. You can even play a game if you want. Just control the car up and down using the push buttons. Ok, so on side of the main kit you can also have the Arduino Uno adapter board. The Watch X PCB has some connectors on the bottom side. This is the pin configuration of all the connectors. So you could use this and connect to other modules, to actuators and external sensors. In this case, the Watch X PCB together with the shield would create a compatible Arduino Uno board. As you can see, we have the same shape as the Arduino Uno. And here we have the power pins, the analog inputs and the I2C port and on the other side we have the digital pins, the WART and the SPI ports and all the pins the Arduino Uno should have. But have in mind, the Watch X PCB doesn't work with the same microcontroller as the Arduino Uno which is the Atmega 328. The Watch X PCB has the Atmega 32U4 microcontroller, which is the chip for the Arduino Leonardo and it is a little bit more powerful. This here is the pinout of the Atmega 32U4 microcontroller and this is the pinout of the Watch X connector. Ok, we also have this joystick shaped PCB compatible with the Watch X, so you could use the push buttons as inputs for your board and control your own games on all the display. This is a very basic PCB, but it is a lot more fun to control games with this than using the push buttons on the Watch X PCB. 
Ok, so what do we have on the PCB? We have already seen that the main part of the board is the Atmega 32U4 microcontroller, which compared with the Arduino's Uno microcontroller, it has more analog inputs, more PWM outputs, more interruption pins and a little bit more memory. On the board we have 4 push buttons. One is the reset pin, but the other 3 switches are connected to pins ADC13, ADC11 and the RTS, which correspond to port B6, B4 and B7. We also have 2 green LEDs that we could control, and these are connected to pins 13 and 6 of the Arduino Leonardo. The board has a real-time clock IC. This will save the time and will give us the date, the year, the day of the week and the time, using i 2 communication, so this chip is connected to the SDA and SCL pins, which correspond to pin D1 and D0. It also has an alarm interruption pin, and that is connected to the pin TDX1, which is port D3. On the same board we have the MPU6050 accelerometer. This will use the same i 2 pins, and it could give us accelerations and gyro data, so imagine the possibilities of creating cool projects using this sensor. Together with this MPU sensor, we have a magnetometer and a barometric sensor, which are also using the i 2 pins as before, the MAG3110 magnetometer and the BMP280 barometer. With this we can measure magnetic fields and also pressure, so we could calculate the altitude, but it could also give us the temperature and so on. Then we have a small buzzer connected to digital pin ADC12, which is the port B5. This will create sounds depending on the frequency applied to it. You can give all sorts of functions to this, as for alarm, notifications, game beeps and so on. The board also has a Bluetooth module, the NRF51822. This one uses an SPA communication and is connected to the SPA port on pins B1, B2 and B3. We can use the Bluetooth connection to communicate with a smartphone for example, or to another Bluetooth device, which could also be another Arduino, and that depends on the project that you want to make. The last IC on this board is the charging IC, the MCP73831. With this we can charge a 3.7V LiPo battery using the USB input. So the PCB also has that USB connector, has a connector for the battery, a connector for the OLED display and the holes for the watch belt. That's all you get on this tiny PCB. It is only 3 by 3 centimeters, but it has all these sensors, the actuators and the modules. That's quite awesome. The PCB, of course, it is a 4 layer one and weighs just a few grams, and in my opinion it is very well designed and all the components are placed in the perfect position. I know how difficult it is to place so many components on such a small PCB. I had the same problem with my own Arduino based smartwatch. Ok, so now how can we use this board? Well, first you have to go and download the Arduino IDE in case that you don't have it yet. For some reasons, the last version will give me some errors with the WatchX firmware, so I had to use the version 1.8.5. In my case I've downloaded the zip version, because I don't have to uninstall the last version that I have on my PC. The second step is to go to the link below and download the WatchX libraries. Maybe you won't need all these libraries, but it's ok to have them. So extract the library zip files and copy all the folders. Now go to your Arduino IDE directory and open the libraries folder. Paste all the libraries here. If you already have one, just hit the skip button. And now we are ready. Go below and download the Arduino example files. Extract the zip file as well and let's start with a basic one. I've made this simple sketch where I define the pins for the push buttons and the LEDs that we have on the PCB. With this code I can detect when the push button was pressed and turn on an LED. So select the Arduino Leonardo type of board. Then connect the USB cable from your PC to the WatchX USB connector. Now in the Arduino IDE select the CAM of the PCB and upload. The code was uploaded so now, as you can see, when I push a button one LED will turn on, and when I push the other button the other LED will turn on. Also if I open the serial monitor, I can see which button was pressed. So we can control this just as an Arduino. In the downloaded zip file you have a lot more of other examples. You have one for reading the battery voltage, another one for the Bluetooth connection, 
a few more examples for the pressure sensor, the accelerometer and the magnetometer. You have example for controlling the buzzer, the real-time clock and the OLED display. So for example let's upload the display example. Open it in the Arduino IDE and as before select Arduino Leonardo and upload it. And there you go, we now have the example of the OLED screen. So you could use this board as you would do with a normal Arduino, it is very easy to use. Or if you want you can use it as a normal watch. So go below and download the WatchX firmware. Open that code in the Arduino IDE and upload it. There you go. Now here you can set the time, set alarms, enable sounds and more and everything is very well designed with nice icons. It also has a game included for avoiding cars. So enter that and play it with the push buttons. If you want you can also download and install the mBlocks extension and program this PCB using blocks instead of lines of code. That is also recommended for kids but not only. So guys if you want to start learning Arduino this is a very good choice since it's compatible with the Arduino Leonardo board. You can read inputs and control outputs and you have everything on the board ready to control and learn. So I like the idea of having a nice Arduino with everything already connected and with a nice design as well. All you need is a good idea and since we have this port here you can always connect it to other parts such as a small robot, the joystick PCB or your own PCB. Everything is ready to use or if you want just use it as a watch. You can download and 3D print a case for this in order to protect it and make it look a lot better. Like that you would have a nice digital watch. Or maybe write your own code and make a smart watch with a Bluetooth connection, you decide. I hope that you like this preview of this nice project and if you want to support them you have the links below for the kit and the accessories. Consider subscribing and give a like to this video. So thanks again and see you later guys. Hey guys Electronoops here this is the end of the video and thank you very much for supporting my channel and watching my videos and maybe even subscribe to this channel and I would like to give a special thank you to all our patrons for supporting my work supporting my tutorials and if you also consider supporting me, just check my Patreon on Patreon slash Electronoops, select any tire that you want. And like that you will be able to see my videos before the YouTube release, you can get in touch with me with comments or uh, questions. And by the way, I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, also our website Electronoops.io. So if you make an account, you will be able to post your projects, your tutorials, teach others your work, and also use the forum for, our, for the questions and all the doubts that you have. Thank you once again for supporting this channel, for giving a like to this video, and also by subscribing and supporting me on Patreon.com. Keep up, you guys.